No matter how many postcards you send or how many selfies you share, it's impossible to grasp the essence of the Florida Keys within the borders of a snapshot. So let's take a deeper dive into the lifestyle of the Florida Keys to discover the local way of life. I, I usually am down there snorkeling and see something that inspires a, a painting. This is one of my favorite pieces. This is Michelle Nicole Lowe, an Isla Mirada artist with long-rooted ties in the Florida Keys. She began drawing marine life at a very early age. I picked up a paintbrush when I was, uh, as soon as I could hold one. So I know I have always loved art. Even while studying in Italy, Michelle's love for the Keys remained on the tip of her paintbrush. I kept painting fish and marine life. In the middle of Italy, uh, I think there's so much beauty in all of the creatures and the flora down here in the Keys, um, trees and plants and flowers. Um, that's what makes me want to paint. For Michelle, the personality of the Keys is also found in the personalities of the fish she paints. I think one of my favorite things about being an artist is seeing people's reactions to my paintings. And when people come into the gallery, often they're, they you know, let out a laugh or they're smiling because I try to give my fish person personality. And if you're down there really scuba diving and seeing them up close and personal, they all really do. They're all looking different ways and they have little uh, personalities when you really look at them. Um, and so I try to put personality into every one of my paintings. I love the fact that you are able to put some expressions because, like you said, they're individuals. And speaking of individuals, the Florida Keys are all about celebrating individuals and embracing everyone into a unique and welcoming culture. We are a small, mighty, resilient uh, community. It doesn't matter what happens, it doesn't matter what you need, who you are, everyone um, accepts you. Welcome to Key West. And I just love that part of it. You know, it's just, everyone's got your back. Fritzy Esteban is with the Key West Business Guild in Key West. Key West Business Guild is actually celebrating 45 years this year. Uh, we're the oldest LGBTQ marketing organization uh, in the nation, in fact. The main mission here is to uh, focus on basically that the Keys and Key West specifically is all welcoming to everyone. Fritzy relies on one primary mode of transportation in getting around town. You've got to roll up on a bicycle. I rolled up on a bicycle. And that's what you're known for. You're, you're known for kind of tooling around on a bike, but yeah. you're not the only one. Oh, no, not at all. People at are all. biking here and there and everywhere. So the biking component is part of the lifestyle, that's too. That's a huge part of it, too. I love that. Pedestrians on foot or people on bicycles absorb the unique culture that's found everywhere, even in the middle of Duval Street. Now, this is pretty cool. A rainbow crosswalk. Yeah. I like it. Thank How you. long has it been here? Uh, implemented initially in 2015 uh, I, by the city and the business guild, in fact. I think there needs to be more. Yeah, <laughs> let's put it on every corner of Duval Street. Let's put it on every corner around the world. That, there say? we go. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> Still other residents of the Keys prefer to rely on another form of transportation, on the water. So this here, this is all the Great White Heron National Wildlife Refuge behind us. This is called Snipes Point, and this is Snipes Key. We're going to make our turn around the corner here and go over to another little beach called Smart. Rob Oliveria provides visitors tours of this federally protected Lower Keys area, one of the four national wildlife refuges in the Keys. It's about a 50-mile stretch just north of Marathon to north of Key West. Uh, back country here, about 200 acres or so. There's no doubt that having fun in the sun, on and in the water, is a major part of the lifestyle in the Florida Keys. But what residents also understand is that there's a responsibility of stewardship for maintaining these island paradises. You're all about ecotourism. Yeah. How does that work? Well, how does we're all that about work? being stewards of the environment. You know, like I said, thank goodness this was set up years ago for us, and we'd like this to be here years in the future for our, for our kids and their families. The lifestyle of the Florida Keys has been built in the last 200 years by generations who work to preserve these islands' cultures and ecosystem. Although there is always preservation work to be done, there is also a new level of understanding that all residents recognize. I believe there's a new consciousness happening uh, where people, you know, um, are becoming more aware. Mm -hmm. and, and this is all part of it. You know, we're becoming more aware of our, of our environment, our place in it. And uh, if, you do, if you don't get inspired by this, then, then nothing's going to Nothing's going to inspire you. you.